Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm swatching for you the Super Nudes collection. So I have four lipsticks out of the Super Nudes and I also want to show you the previous release. So she did shades Nude Romance, First Dance, Mrs. Kisses and Wedding Well. So I'll show you those shades as well in case you haven't seen them on my channel before. So first up is this beautiful 90s shade and this is the shade Super Fabulous. It's like that perfect 90s brown, where it's not too brown, it's not too cool, but it's neutral enough. I really love it. I think this looks so flattering on my skin tone, and it works so well with the look I'm currently wearing at the moment as well. So this is a shade Super Fabulous. gorgeous color. Next up is Supermodel. This is another very flattering shade for my lips. I'm just going to pop this on. Oh my god, that's a beautiful color. On my lips, this is like a peachy pink. It's gorgeous as well. So this is the shade Supermodel. Which one do you like better, Supermodel or the previous shade Super Fabulous? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up is the shade Catwalking. And this, there are quite a few of you who were interested in this shade and wanted to know what this looks like on me. So you'll see that it's a little bit light, but with a lip liner, it's, it's beautiful. So this is what Catwalking looks like. I think it looks really beautiful. And I would actually wear this for sure with a brown lip liner. And that is my preference, but I'll show you this now and I'll pop some lip liner on to show you what that looks like as well. Catwalking. I think this is a really gorgeous light nude lipstick for my skin tone as well as for my pigmented lips. This is just a NARS lip liner in the shade Borneo. Now this is the shade with lip liner. It looks perfect. <laughs> I really enjoy this shade from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Now the next shade is a shade that I don't like because it's too light for my skin. So I'll pop this on next. So this is Cover Star. It's very light. If you're after that lip color that will give you concealer lips, this is perfect. <laughs> so definitely a bit too light for me. So this is Cover Star. I will pop on some lip liner so you can see that I can actually make this lip color work for me as well. So I'm going in with the same NARS Borneo lip liner. Now it's the shade with quite a bit of lip liner on. I can definitely make it work. All right, so those were the four nudes from the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection, and I love three of them. So Catwalking, Super Fabulous, and Supermodel, all three are stunning, and I think they work really well with my skin tone. Now, I also want to show you Nude Romance, which I recently picked up. gorgeous it's like a peachy dude now this is the kissing formula it's not the matte formula as the rest of these lipsticks that is very 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 pretty and i often wear this with a lip liner as well just because it is a little bit light but i think it's it's such a great peachy nude for my skin tone with just a hint of a brown lip liner it's it's perfection
What do you guys think? I will add some lip liner on just so you can see what that looks like. Just a little bit of that lip liner in the edges. Mm, I love this shade. Next up is First Dance. This is new to me. This I only recently picked up with the Super Nudes collection. I was just very curious to see what this shade looks like. It is a beautiful shade, but I feel like I have other pinks from Charlotte Tilbury. So I probably didn't need this, but I'll pop this on for you. It is a pretty color. And this is the shade First Dance. So I'll swatch this next to a couple of other pinks that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. So you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, so this is what we have. This first shade right here is First Dance. Then we've got Amazing Amal, Secret Selma, and then just for reference, this is M.I. Kiss or Bond Girl. This is the comparison. And I still think that I actually prefer on my skin anyway, these two shades, which is Amazing Amal and Secret Selma. This is definitely more of a warm pink. Not my favorite, but it doesn't look bad at all. This shade is Bedding Bells. Now I have shown this shade to you on my channel before, but it's such a beautiful pinky nude that of course I have to show it to you again. So this is Bedding Bells. gorgeous color now this last shade is another of my faves it's mrs kisses a beautiful warm peachy terracotta shade oh my god so pretty beautiful so so beautiful gosh these charlotte tilbury lipsticks are amazing you guys if you haven't tried a charlotte tilbury lipstick I highly recommend, perhaps during sale time, grab one shade that you think you will wear very frequently and give these a go because they're so effortless. They just glide right on. The matte formula is super comfortable. They aren't drying. I wear these to work constantly. There's always at least three or four of these in my handbag at all times. So amazing formulation. I don't know what I was wearing before Charlotte Tilbury, seriously. Don't know. This is the shade Mrs. Kisses. They also have such great nudes. I mean, I'm quite surprised. There are so many nude options for brown skin tones and with pigmented lips. But with Charlotte Tilbury, it's just there's so many beautiful shades. They look amazing on brown skin so highly recommend this formula i don't think i regret a single charlotte tilbury lipstick now while we're here i might as well show you two shades that i recently picked up off the hyaluronic happy kiss i think it's called hold on i'll go get it so i picked up two shades of the happy kiss formulation these have such hit or miss reviews like I've seen reviews where people absolutely love them I've also seen reviews where people really hate them so these got me really intrigued I mean what are they like really and so I've been wearing them for the past couple of days and let me just pop one on and I'll talk you through it first up um once you click them up you can't click them back down so if you apply them make sure you only click them as little amount as possible so you don't have a lot of product at the top there um, they do get a little bit messy in the tube so to avoid these getting very very messy what you can do is instead of swiping them on you just want to dab it onto your lips so this is a shade romance kiss and you just want to do this oh my god how gorgeous is this color i'm it's so pigmented, you guys. I actually really love these. So I'm sitting on the boat with the people who love these because whew, 
extremely pigmented and I'm just dabbing this on this way you can also control the pigment so if you don't want full opacity you don't have to go there so I have been really enjoying wearing this shade romance kiss just like this this is not full pigmentation but it looks so beautiful and natural and like a perfect everyday shade this formula is also super nourishing so on, i've been wearing this on days that i had dry lips and i was pleasantly surprised that i could kind of rock this the whole day and my lips did not feel dry yes shade lightly applied romance kiss gorgeous now i'm gonna apply a little bit more wow i mean with full opacity they look so juicy right so if you're someone who doesn't like thicker lipstick formulas probably give these a skip because i don't think you will like these these are quite thick and nourishing and um i love how they look so i don't mind that so this is a shade romance kiss with full opacity Next up is Passion Kiss. So one of you told me to grab Passion Kiss and it's a beautiful brown tone. I really love it. And this is what it looks like. We're just very lightly applied. It's really beautiful, like a perfect brown nude. Gorgeous color, beautiful brown. So this is the shade Passion Kiss. So here were kind of like some random assortment of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.